Dr. Hunt, it seems that consumers today are concerned that using machines to remove meat is somehow unnatural. You've been in this industry for a long time and you've seen a lot of technology be developed and deployed. What can you tell us about the value that technology has offered? Well, the more traditional ways were excellent for those periods of time. We need to use what's excellent for these periods of time. And there's a wide variety of technological things that we can use, some of which came from the space program and numerous other creative endeavors, some of which were occurred by accident, that we need to utilize in order to make things to be as efficient and as safe as possible. I think many consumers, when they think about meat processing, they remember the old days with their butchers, and, and those are wonderful memories. Well, we all kind of think that some of the good old days was what we would like to go back to, when in fact some of those days weren't maybe the good old days. But any industry has got to move forward, and they've got to keep analyzing uh, all the aspects that they have of it, and animal agriculture is no different. Live animals are our basic raw material, and we're obligated to try to get to do the, and when they give their life for our muscle foods, we've got to do that efficiently, we've got to do it safely, we've got to do it humanely, and we're doing that all because consumers basically demand that. Greater variety, more food products, something that is more safe. Well, we've seen some controversy lately about technologies we use to either separate meat from fat or remove meat from the bone. Is it still meat if you're well, using a technology? Well, well if I meat? gave you an orange and had you squeeze it and we took the juice out of it, what would you call it? Orange juice. Well, why wouldn't we call it orange juice? If we take meat and we take it off of, a, of an animal's carcass, either by pushing or pulling or squeezing or whatever the mechanical or physical processes that we use, it is meat. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has a fairly complicated definition of what the skeletal tissue from animals really is. And sometimes we define that by its shape, by its size, what has happened to it, even down to the cellular level and the subcomponents that are in with the cell. So they're all meat. And if so, these mechanically assisted removal systems still allow it to have those properties, why not call it meat? And I assume they help with the affordability of products. Well, they increase our yields tremendously. And I, and I think we have an obligation in the food industry and in the meat industry to try to be as efficient as we can. And so for the reasons we mentioned earlier, from safety to quantity to quality to the sustainability, and especially to be able to try to feed the increasing populations that are going to be uh, in the near future. So. It allows us to minimize inputs and maximize outputs, which are going to be extremely important in trying to feed the, the, all the people on this planet. Thank you so much for clearing that up.